Well, closing arguments today in the trial of former Cardinal Newman football star and NFL player Travis Rudolph. Two years ago, Rudolph shot a man to death and wounded another outside his family's Lake Park home. Prosecutors say the shooting was unprovoked. Rudolph claims it was self-defense. Suji Nam joins us live from the Palm Beach County Courthouse with the final arguments made today. Suji. Jade, it's been a day long hearing. We've heard from both state prosecutors as well as Travis Rudolph's defense attorney in their closing arguments and both sides describe what they say happened on April 7, 2021. Rudolph and the man he was seeing, woman he was seeing at the time, Dominique Jones, got into a physical argument about another woman. Evidence has shown that once she left, she sent a text message to her brother using the phrase shoot up, which she clarified was not meant as a literal threat, but an emotional outburst. A group of four men then showed up to the Rudolph home around midnight and a fight broke out. Rudolph's brother Daryl testified last week he was frightened when he said two guns were pointed at him and his brother. Rudolph argues he fired 39 rounds at the men out of self-defense. Prosecutors have grilled the athlete asking why he shot so many times, alleging he was pursuing them when the men had already driven away from the home. The video does not lie. Before Travis Rudolph even gets to his brother, all the men have run back to the car door. The door then closes and the vehicle immediately starts moving. Travis Rudolph isn't even in frame yet. He's not even close enough yet. And then you see him and then he starts shooting. They can play those videos all they want. I challenge them to play them a thousand more times. Press the spot shotter another thousand times. You can hear those shots over and over and over. You can't see what happened in the final moments. And two guys pointed a gun. She wasn't there. She doesn't know. I don't know either. But what's reasonable? And the defense just wrapped up, so the next step is for the state rebuttal against the defense. And then the next step in this whole process is for the jury to deliberate, and that deliberation and the verdict has to be unanimous. We, of course, will continue to monitor everything in the courtroom and keep you updated both on air and online. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, I'm Sujinam for WPBF 25 News.